People in Longmont are dealing with unwelcome wildlife with some nasty habits. Giant turkey vultures have made themselves at home, but homeowners say the birds are, well, ugly guests. They migrate here in the spring and stick around through the fall. Jamie Leary's been talking with neighbors. Jamie, those birds have all kinds of ways of making a mess. They really do, and at one point there were so many turkey vultures last year in these trees that neighbors spent every single day cleaning off their sidewalks and streets. But unfortunately, not even the street sweeper could get after this. This is now a permanent stain in this neighborhood. The city of Longmont is working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to find some peaceful solutions for people and birds. But in the meantime, these neighbors here, they've had to come up with some creative solutions of their own. Should we deal with the poo? and not the regurgitation because once we start startling them and scaring them, bleh. It's the lovely defense mechanism of the turkey vulture. At this point, the IAOs are desperate. There have been as many as 40 relaxing in their tree, relieving themselves. For Jody, the fecal matter. On any level, hands down, I'm sorry, that's a red flag. This is the second year the birds have migrated to her tree. She's tried everything. We've tried firecrackers. We've tried wooden planks slapping. Even effigies, she stuffed fabric to look like a dead vulture. They'd be like, oh, no, there's one of me that's dead hanging upside down. We're not welcome here. <laughs> Fly away. The only thing that has really worked? Whip cracking. I've got this whip from, I've been cracking since I was a kid. Her husband Wayne loves Indiana Jones and he's really good at this. He wants to make sure his driveway stays free of droppings. So, you know, who wants to take a chance if your dog or your kid touches that? It's working for now, but the vultures are never far. The next block over, another committee, as they're called, seem comfortable. A large fleet of giant birds that have a, I think, six foot plus wingspan that are using the bathroom regularly on our home. <laughs> Lindsay Deacle, like most of her neighbors, wants a peaceful resolution, which the city is working on. She also wants to be able to park in front of her house. We want to so proactively get on it before it gets worse. We're hoping it's not another summer like last summer. Despite these dirty droppings from last summer, these birds are federally protected, so they have to be very careful about the mitigation that they follow through with. The U.S. Department of Agriculture and the city of Longmont have proposed about a $13,000 budget, but they're pretty far from deciding on that, so we'll continue to follow the story. Live in Longmont, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. Crazy story indeed. Jamie, thanks.